Hey guys, Megan Olivia here with Paul Taylor, who just defeated Gabe Rudiger. All right, Paul, you were on a two-fight losing streak. Did you feel any extra added pressure? Did you feel like your job was on the line? Uh, definitely. I was trying to be uh, cool and collective. Um, there's a lot of pressure on me. UFC have been quitting a lot of fighters since the merger of the WEC. Um, I knew I had to win to, to, to stay around. Do you know what I mean? My job was on the line tonight, yeah. How did you prepare for this fight? Did you do anything extra? Did you make sure your cardio was better than ever? Did you work on your stand-up extra? What did you do for this? Yeah. Um, my ground game really is working my wrestling, keeping my stand-up. I've got myself a pair of cauliflower ears now, so I could prove I can grapple. Um, do you know what I mean? Gabe was a dangerous fight for me. He's a, he's a black belt jiu-jitsu. If I got on that ground with him, um, it, it was going to be a tough one. But as soon as I grabbed onto him, I, I felt a lot physically stronger. Um, I knew I was fitter um, anyway. So it was really for me, it was just, just those elements of my game, my wrestling and my, and my groundwork. Well, it seemed to have paid off. So what's next for you? You have this win under your belt. Where do you see yourself progressing? For, for me now, I'm, I'm going to have a couple of weeks off. I'm going to stay in Vegas for a week now with my girlfriend, um, get back in the gym after that and just keep working on my wrestling and my grappling, do you know what I mean? I want to get through against a better opponent next. Um, they're definitely going to have a better ground and, and wrestling game than Gabe did. Um, I'm happy with my striking where it is. So it's just making myself a more rounded fighter. All right, well, congratulations on the win. Keep checking heavy.com for more UFC 126 info.